Okay, no, no cheating on this one. The only state whose name ends with three consonants. Fuck it. <laughs> Kentucky? Does it, does why, why is sometimes a vowel, man? That's not fair. Is it Kentucky? Kentucky? What? It's sometimes a vowel. The name of this Iowa city commemorates the powwow Lewis and Clark held with area residents in 1804. I'm going to say it's Sioux Falls. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's, uh, Des Moines? I mean, that's the only other city I know in Iowa. Except for like Iowa City. Sioux Falls is in South Dakota. Son of a bitch. Des Moines shower handle. So true. This Old Testament book opens. The words of the preacher, the son of David, king in Jerusalem. That shit is uh, Exodus for sure. <laughs> Revelations. Uh, okay, I'm moving on. The three-word title of this play begins and ends with the same seven-letter word. What is a Midsummer's Night's Midsummer? I, I listen. I'm. <laughs> this is too hard for me. Tomo, do you want to get out of here? I have no idea, man. This is it, Jeopardy in the '90s was a different beast. This country contains South America's highest and lowest points. What is Peru? What is Chile? Oh, no. This city has been the site of more major party presidential nominating conventions than any other. What is Philadelphia? What is New York fucking city? What is Albany? What is Washington, D.C.? What is Dallas? <laughs> Chicago's probably right. You got a good point. Only permanent common market member whose official language doesn't use the Latin alphabet. Japan. Russia? China? <laughs> this shit is demoralizing, man. Greece, that makes so much sense. Two countries that became independent on August 14th and 15th, 1947. Taiwan and Singapore? I don't know. Uh, maybe Slovakia and... No, that doesn't make any sense. I don't know. India and Pakistan? Oh, you're right. It's probably Israel. After Virginia, more Civil War battles were fought in this state than in any other. <laughs> My brain just keeps going, Virginia? Virginia? I'm going to say it's Tennessee. Okay. Next pair in this sequence. Space exploration. Gumdrop, Spider, Charlie Brown... Snoopy. <laughs> Is this the SATs? Yeah. Wake up. Drink. Pass out. Drink. I have I don't even know how to answer the question, honestly. L listen. 1990 Tournament of Champions final? I'm not I'm not 
cut out for this type of Jeopardy. Okay, Columbia. I got 15%, by the way. Columbia and Eagle, of course. Okay, my mistake. Wait, there were like four more questions. I don't know why I just gave up. Massachusetts ends with three continents. Three consonants. Council Bluffs! Ecclesiastes, of course. Measure for measure, literally never heard of it. Argentina, the highest is Aconcagua, and the lowest, of course, the Valdez Peninsula. Chicago, chat, they had that one under control. India and Pakistan, Colombia and Eagle. Let's see if I would have gotten this. It's the only inhabited U.S. territory south of the equator. What are the U.S., what is American Samoa? Oh! Would take would take me up to 21%. Jarvis, Jarvis, take me south of the equator. Take me somewhere south of the equator where there's still a pizza hut, Jarvis. Stat. Jarvis, I'm gonna need an extra lover. I'm gonna need an extra large meat lovers on the table at the American Samoa's best pizza hut stat. Jarvis. In eighteen forty one, his first package tour took five hundred and seventy people from Leicester to Lowborough for a temperance rally. Who is Prince Philip? Thomas Cook, the father of modern tourism. Wow, that sounds fun. Okay, I would not have gotten James Whistler to begin with, but also I saw the answer. I, can, can we move past the Tournament of Champions, please? Maybe May 1991? What are we looking at here? Well, character who says the evil that men do lives after them. Who is Banquo? Who's fucking Hamlet? This is Macbeth. I'm going to say this is Macduff. This is Othello. This is um, Al Pacino in The Merchant of Venice. This is um, Oberon. Oberon? This is uh, Romeo, Benvolio, Paris. Could not tell you. In 1972, he succeeded Yu Thant to become the UN's fourth secretary general. Who is Boutros? Boutros Ghali. Who is Kofi Annan? Who is Ban? Key moon. Anytime I type Ban Ki Moon, all I get the need the shine of the Ban Ki Moon. Just waiting. Ban -an -an -an. Dan it, dan it. You know what I'm talking about? Some some do. Um, many do. Great record. The only one to sign the Declaration of Independence, 1778. Alliance with France, peace treaty with Great Britain, and the Constitution. That's Thomas Jefferson, bro. What? Alexander Hamilton. Who's fucking John Hancock? George Washington? <laughs> ben Franklin? That's a great honor. And I've stolen another one from chat. That's my first right answer. One of two federal positions that by law pay the same salary as the vice presidency. I'm going to say Speaker of the House. Yay! The third most nominated actress ever. She received her ninth Oscar nomination in 1991. <clears throat> this shit is old. Hepburn. Streep. Okay, I should have gone Streep first. Other than North America, it's the continent closest to South America. Would I be insane to say Australia? It seems like a trick question. It, I, I'm Actually, you know what? I wonder if it's Europe because there are like colonial holdings in the Atlantic Ocean. Wrong. Wrong, dummy. Africa? Australia? Okay, there's only like six continents. Oh, Antarctica. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a really good one. Yep. Yeah, there's literally like fucking penguins in Argentina, right? Um, in 1661, two and a half years after his death, 
His body was exhumed and hanged at Tyburn. Who is Guy Fox? Who is James of Hearts? Cromwell, Cromwell. They dug that motherfucker up and hanged him again. <laughs> that shit must have stunk, dude. The word jot comes from this Greek word. As back then, the I's and J's were the same. What is iota? Look at that. He's done it. Their grandfather had a number one hit record in 1935. Their father, number ones in 1958 and 1961. And they hit number one in 1990. Who are the Wilsons? Who is, um, who is Hart? Who is um, Wilson Phillips? Who is Wilson? Wilson! Who is 199? I have no idea. Oh, the Osmonds. No? Okay. It's not Hanson. That's like way too. It's not like it's way too late for the Jacksons. It's way too early for Hanson. Oh, Hank Williams. Oh, but it says there. It's got to be a group. Dude, I think it's Wilson Phillips. And I think they hit it with hold on. I just don't know how to type it. I don't know. To keep a balance, an 18, 19th century America. To keep a balance, an 1820 compromise admitted Missouri as a slave state and this as a free state. What's above Missouri? I'm thinking of Chef Meemaw. Iowa? Was Iowa even in, the, in America at that time? Doesn't make sense. How about Tennessee? How about Kentucky? How about I'm literally just guessing? Okay, I pass. In 1879, he showed that gastric juices can be produced without food being put in the stomach. Who is Bill Hydrochloric? Who is Dr. Penfield? I don't know. John Stomach. <laughs> the two island nations that are members of NATO... I want to say Iceland, but I don't know if Iceland is... Yeah, they probably are. Yeah, all right, all right, all right, I'll take it. The 1950s. He died October 9th, 1958 at Castle Gandolfo. Who is Franco? Oh, that felt like a fucking... It felt like a lock. It felt like a lock, man. Sarumano. <laughs> I don't know. This is hard. Nobel laureate and Reagan advisor who titled one of his books, There's No Such Thing as a Free Lunch. Who's fucking Kissinger? Who's fucking um, the dude who invested in Theranos accidentally? I don't know. I could not name another Reagan advisor. Milton Friedman. That makes sense. In New York City in 1955, she said, an actress's life is so transitory. Suddenly you're a building. What does that mean? What the hell does that mean? Who is Jessica Empire State? Jessica MoMA? <laughs> 1955 actress, Audrey Hepburn. Catherine Hepburn. Lauren Bacall. I have no clue. The last name of Lord Darnley, whose son became the King of England in 1603. Who is Plantagenet? Who is the Tudors? Who is the 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 other ones? <laughs> Darn Stuart! Two characters in this American classic were named for a king of Israel and the oldest son of Abraham. The book is called Moses Abel. <laughs> Moses was not the king of Israel. Is this of mice and men? Is, is Abraham's oldest son, uh, <laughs> Lenny? 
Um, I have no idea, man. One of two books to have th one of two authors to have three books among the top ten fiction bestsellers of the nineteen eighties. John Grisham, Anne Rice, Danielle Steele, Ray Bradbury, fucking Mark Z. Daniel Lewski. No idea. Stephen King, it makes so much sense. <laughs> this documentary series was the highest rated series in PBS history. Ken Burns, Robbie Burns. Um, what is America? I can't. I don't, I, I actually, I don't know, man. I don't, is it the Civil War documentary? It is. I can't do this without Chad, man. I would come last on Jeopardy even with Chad's help. I give up. I don't even want to know. Mark Anthony. Kurt Waldheim. There's no shot I would even have had a chance to get that. British history is, okay, Oliver Cromwell. Gunnar and Matthew Nelson. That shit is impossible. Maine? How was Maine not in the Union? Isn't that where they landed? It was part of Massachusetts? So they didn't really, like, admit another state to the Union. They just fucking, like, salami sliced it. It's not really fair. I don't think you get to be like, oh, 10 years ago we had uh, 14 states and now we have 20. We didn't get any more land. We just chopped up Massachusetts a little bit. How do you think states are made? I think it's complicated. <laughs> oh, that's right. Delaware is the smallest. It is the first state. That's true. Pavlov makes perfect sense. Pope Pius XII wasn't even in my, in my brain. Milton Friedman. Yeah, okay. Fair. Helen Hayes. A Broadway theater is named after her. Of course. Henry Stewart saves his family. And Moby Dick. Okay, I can do this. I can just, I'm entering my, the thing is, Final Jeopardy tends to be the hardest. But you get to warm up with like, for $100, name a word that ends with Y. And you go like, parsimony, you know? You get to spend 20 minutes getting, getting warmed up for Final Jeopardy. Let's, let's just put ourselves in the mind palace. On February 5th, 1924, he became the only president buried in Washington, D.C. So which president? I'm going to guess that this is Teddy Roosevelt. Seems like he could have died around that time. Okay, I pass. This spinoff from All in the Family ran for more episodes than its parent show. What is Rhonda? I pass. The Jeffersons. Okay, I'm entering my mind palace again. This former dance teacher and ditch digger made his film debut in 1942. His leading lady was Judy Garland. Who is Fred Astaire? I'm passing. <laughs> Two of the three European countries officially called principalities. San Marino and... Vatican City. Vatican City. Lichtenstein. Hey! Okay. Their marriage in 1614 brought eight years of peace to the Jamestown colony. Who is Pocahontas and John something? John Smith? Sounds right. At his death in January 1991... The king of this country was the world's oldest reigning monarch. Jordan. Um, Thailand. Oh, I pass. As, were, as Europe chose sides before World War I, Russia joined these two nations in the Triple Entente. 
who is France and the United Kingdom, one of two state capitals that formerly served as capital of the U.S. <clears throat> so Philadelphia was a capital, but it's not a capital of a state. Albany, is it possible that Albany was temporarily the capital of, of the United States of America? I'm sure they had wartime capitals as well. I'm thinking Boston as well, but then I'm like, is Boston the capital of Massachusetts? Let's try Boston. Let's try Albany. Okay, I pass. <laughs> New York City? It's not the cat, it's not a state capital. Philadelphia is not a state capital. Annapolis. I never would have gotten it. Is it I'm not gonna type it in though. That's it's resinous. A 40-year-old widower. He was engaged to remarry when he died mysteriously in Baltimore in 1849. Who is Stringer Bell? Edgar Allan Poe. Yay! Basically, bing, name an American author who probably died in the 1800s. I'm going to say mm, Edgar Allan Poe and nobody else. The only real-life couple Astaire and Rogers played in their 10 films together was this dance team. Themselves? That's the only thing I could think of. Astaire and Rogers. Stare and Rogers. Two of the four African countries that have been members of the UN since its founding. I'm going to say Egypt. Hey. I was thinking Ethiopia because they fought against the Axis in World War II. So it seems like that when they founded the UN, they might have just been like, hey, everybody in the group chat, we need you to sign this real quick. That was the other one I was thinking of. Ronald Paul, the candidate of this party, got the third most votes in the 1988 presidential election. My, the snap bet is libertarian. There you go. He married Edith Bowling Galt, a widow, on December 18th, 1915, in her Washington, D.C. drawing room. Is it possible that this is the King of England who was forced to abdicate for mar marrying a divorcee? Could you be King George? Could you be the King Edward? Could you be the fucking dude before? Could you be Edward King? That was a lot later. Oh yeah. Um, oh, in, in her Washington D.C., nineteen fifteen. That shit is. Why do I always forget the U.S. president? It's Woodrow Wilson. Yay! This famed musician disappeared on December sixteenth, nineteen forty-four, and was never found. I could not even hazard a guess. So I'm going to guess that it was Etta Fitzgerald. That's all I got. It's Tupac. <laughs> she has won eight Emmys, more than any other female, more than any other performer. The first is for Best Female Singer in 1954. Who's Barbara Streisand? Who is Dolly Parton? Eight Emmys. She put on a concert every year, maybe? 1954. I mean, that shit is old, dude. Should be Taylor Swift. You're right. This baron was England's poet laureate from 1850 to 1892, longer than anyone else. Who's Keats? Who's Yeats? Who's Yeats? Who's Tennyson? Robbie Burns. On February 5th, 1924... Okay, this is probably... 
I don't know. I give up. I'll take it. Woodrow Wilson, <laughs> you motherfucker. Uh, he got married in 1915 and died in 1924. Need I say more? The Jeffersons. Yes. Okay. Gene Kelly, also a famous dancer. Norway was the oldest king. Annapolis and Trenton. That is an impossible question. Vernon and Irene Castle, of course, famous dancers. Glenn Miller. And Dina Shore slash Julia Louis-Dreyfus and Cloris Leachman. Is that one person? Okay, I think I got one more in me. This is like melting my brain. Robert Browning's poem about him contains the line, Rats, they fought the dogs and killed the cats. Who is the Pied Piper? Okay, it's that easy. Hemingway wrote... Hemingway novel that begins Robert Cohn was once middleweight boxing champion at Princeton. What is a farewell to arms? It's not the old man in the sea. I really thought it was a farewell to arms because it's talking about boxing. The sun also rises. Classical music. At the premiere of this Handel work, explosions destroyed part of the outdoor pavilion. What is the Messiah chorus? What is hallelujah? What is, what is the Messiah chorus? He didn't make the 1812 overture. That shit is Tchaikovsky, you, you, you Philistines. You don't think it's... I, dude, it's got to be the, the hallelujah chorus. There's no way they weren't pogging out of their gourd for that back in fucking like 1703 or whatever. By the way, I saw the whole, I don't know if it's a symphony, but Kate played in it when she was still in university. It was around Christmas season. One of the few times you're going to see the concert hall packed. 80-year-olds as far as the eye could see. Everyone's sitting in their audience. Shit is like 17 hours long and completely worthless, except just like two-thirds of the way through, they play that, that piece. And everyone's like, yes! Yes! Anyway, the rest of it is, is, a, is a damn sleep aid it's auditory melatonin he was attacked by R. Cater. they saw the lion and the kangaroo take her a Spanish communist agent and died the following day who is see like I want to say that this is Trotsky but there's no way it is just timeline doesn't line up and why would he be attacked by a Spanish communist agent I'm going to say Trotsky anyway. Okay, it was Trotsky. <laughs> Famous movie pairs. The only Tracy and Hepburn film with their characters' names in the title. I don't know. Cagney and Lacey. The first Victoria Cross was made from Russian guns captured during this war. What is the seven years war? What is the 30 years war i know this shit was not the hundred years war it's the crimean war okay it was founded in 1938 as the national foundation for infantile paralysis is unicef make a wish foundation I don't know this one. March of Dimes. I'm not going to type it. I paint. I don't use my mind. I paint my life. The first president to serve eight full years. Bro, there's no way they didn't re-up on Jefferson, right? The, uh, what? Are, I, it just pops into your... Listen, I'm not standing Thomas Jefferson. If that dude does the Louisiana Purchase and you get to cast a ballot again, you're like, we, we sign up for four more years of that. 
1909, she became the first woman president of what later became the National Conference of Social Work, who is Susan B. Anthony, who is Eleanor Roosevelt, who is Nancy Wilson from Heart, who is Susan B. Chillin. Yeah, true, true. In 1991, he won his second Pulitzer for fiction with a book that was his sequel to his first winner. I don't know real books, honestly. The Bank of New York, America's oldest continuously operating bank, was founded by him in 1784. That would be Alexander Hamilton. Right, come on, that's a gimme. The only Southeast Asian country with a Christian majority. My guess would be the Philippines, okay? The two, the two books that list the Ten Commandments, what are Exodus and something else. And I give up. That was a nice little roll at the end, though. Okay, the sun also rises. Music for the royal fireworks. Nobody's ever heard of that. The Wright Pavilion caught fire. Also, a woman's clothes were set on fire by a stray rocket, and other fireworks burned two soldiers and blinded a third. Some things never change. <laughs> Do you think fireworks are dangerous now? Imagine what it was like in 1749. It sounds like they were setting that shit off during the, during the lumber section of a Home Depot. Pat and Mike, that was my first guess, the Crimean War. March of Dimes. Jane Addams, Gomez's first wife. John Updike, would never have guessed it in a million years. We gotta, we gotta do like a little palate cleanser. This is like the hardest quizzes I've ever seen in my entire life. How about, th how about this one? Can you name the final Jeopardy question from the Celebrity Invitational? See, the ones that they give to the Hollywood actors, I think I stand a chance at. Ironically, he lost the leading role in the 1960 play The Best Man because he didn't look presidential. Who is Reagan? See, now this is more my speed. Trees with biblical names include the Joshua tree and the world's oldest tree, a 4,700-year-old pine named for him. What is the Methuselah tree? Meth Methuselah. His work of 1930s and 1940s is so associated with sentimentality that his name is often combined with corn. Who is Ball? <laughs> Film directors. Corn. No idea. <laughs> no, no clue. It was inspired by a piece of Australian physical education. What is the boomerang? What? What is the hula hoop? I would have, on regular Jeopardy, I would have read the whole question, okay? The whole answer. Created in 1950, he finally hit a home run on March 30th, 1993. Who is Casey at the bat? I have no idea. When he passed away in December 1980, flags in Kentucky flew at half-staff for four days. It was Colonel Sanders. In 1890, he witnessed a mild cyclone in South Dakota, fodder for his most famous novel. He's the screenwriter of Twister. The title of this Beatles song is a Yoruba phrase that means life goes on. What is Obladi? Oblada? Can you help me? Obladi. Ob. Obladi. Thank you. In 1970, he became the first professional actor to become a lord. A Lawrence Olivier. Oh! <laughs> Chocolate Avenue and Cocoa Avenue are two of the main thoroughfares in Hershey, Pennsylvania. In 1953, it became the only state whose official song was written for a Broadway musical. What is Oklahoma? During the making of this classic, sets from King Kong and the Garden of Allah were intentionally burned down. Casablanca. 
Citizen Kane. That makes sense. A contemporary review of this 1851 novel said, who would have looked for poetry in Blubber? See, like, dude, I'm really... The problem is I don't need to get smarter. I need to get more famous. It's really hard to get smart enough to be on Normie Jeopardy. If I could just get famous enough to be smart by Celebrity Jeopardy standards, that would crush, man. I need to get to, like, uh, the, the ninja level. Streamer Jeopardy. Don't I'm, Listen, I'm not saying I would be the best, but I would at least get to the audition phase, I think. In 1949, this kingdom dropped the word trans from the beginning of its name. What is Transalpine Gaul? I have no idea. Middle East countries? What is Saudi Arabia? I, I just got to pass on that one. Sylvania, of course. It's Jordan. Capricorn. His name is often combined with corn. Capricorn. That's a... They don't put a damn pun in the freaking question. I mean, the answer... MF didn't know Charlie Brown. Well, I don't know why it's talking about a home run. Wasn't Charlie Brown constantly trying to kick field goals? And then Lucy was pulling the, the ball away like Jerome Powell? He played b-ball too? B-ball is basketball. When Chaos says, I'll be a boy standing in your b-boy stance, you think he means this? By the way, I know you're like great form on the batting stance. Thank you. I did play, played about eight years of, of casual softball in elementary school. I was more of a fielder. I am a lefty, it's true. It was more of a fielder than a, than a batter. And to be honest, like that doesn't matter that much. I, I, if they had a gold glove for Little League at the level I played at, I probably would have gotten the gold glove. I honestly think I had seasons with no errors. But I also, I mean, listen, I probably batted around 500, which is actually like one of the worst batting averages you can have in Little League. Because if you hit that ball, you're, you're making it the first. As long as you're not popping out, that shit is going the first. No shot, you had 500. Bro, the first like three years of Little League, you pitched to your own team. And sometimes you're still striking out, but because like, <laughs> you be you be looking at your pitcher like, can you throw me like a can you throw me like a motherfucking can you throw me a heater down the middle? They're going, and then just like, listen, the level of little league I played at was so bad you, that you never deliberately threw a ball as the pitcher. You would still walk like one person an inning just accidentally. I was not a bad pitcher. Look, I, well, I was, because I played in a low league. But I was usually the best pitcher on my team. But you only got to, as a, in casual softball, you only got to pitch two or three innings of like a six-inning game because they were worried you'd blow out your rotator cuffs. So I would, I'm not trying to flex too much. But I, and again, I was not a good batter. But I would always pitch like inning one to two or one to three. And then our team would be like, okay, we'd be in it. And then fucking, you know, the bullpen comes up and they, they can't even get three strikes across the plate to begin with, much less put some damn heat on it. All of a sudden, we're losing the game like 12-3 to Bill's Hardware. Anyway. Dudes, dudes, you, you haven't uh, experienced misery. On t I, I don't even know, like, how my parents dealt with it in the stands. Watching a kid walk four consecutive batters to load the bases and then walk another four consecutive batters to just let four runs walk in. Your ass just saw like 32 straight balls. <laughs> Those were the days, man. Anyway. 
Oh. I didn't really know what I was doing for the rest of the stream, but I'm going to put a slash marker or sporkle in there. <laughs> 